and it's much later, of course, that I learned that Sajid Tandulkar had a very heavy bat, and it made sense then. But you know, when you're young and you just learn how to play cricket, usually the bat is your size, <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of figure out how to hold it. It's like holding a younger you in a wooden format and uh, trying to swing it. I remember at that point in time, the objective was uh, really to be able to just swing the bat once at the time when the ball comes. <laughs> because racing, and you would never, you would never keep the bat on the ground, right? Because the amount of time it took for you to raise the bat up, the ball would go. <laughs> so uh, you'd always keep the bat up, and then when the baller would ball, and we used to have underhand go only that time, <coughs> staying in a, in a small community. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, and. It's ironic, but when you're younger, when you're say five, six, seven, eight, you're growing up, you always want to be older. You know, when you're eight, you want to be 10, 12, you want to become a grown up, you want to be taken seriously, you want to be on your own. And the thing I, I, I find really ironic about that, and I'm sure most people do, is that there comes a moment in your adult life where you want to become a kid again. And that's <laughs> I can't define exactly when that is and when that happened, but it happens to everyone. Usually, college is the one time when you're when everyone feels it's like a peak of their life, and uh, things cannot get better than that, and from every from there it goes downhill. But for every person, it's different. Some people are 80 years old and they really don't care. They they feel that they're having the time of their lives. But for so many people, they feel that college is like the brim, and from there every, from there it just goes goes down, and that's that's not true. <coughs> That's not true. You could still be uh, 85 years old or uh, 60 years old or starting work at 2024. 20, Anything new you do would feel like that big cricket match until you get familiar enough with it to become comfortable using it. I think public speaking is also like that. Thank you.